Ever wondered if you could master 150 everyday English questions in one conversation? Well, you're in the right place. This video is packed with 150 questions and answers from daily life, all designed to boost your English fluency and confidence. From introductions to deeper discussions, you'll get everything you need to improve your English level naturally. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to MA English for more content just like this. Let's dive in and start speaking English with confidence. Hey, haven't seen you around here before. What's your name? Hi, I'm Sarah. And you? I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, Sarah. So, where are you from? Nice to meet you too, Jake. I'm originally from Boston. What about you? I'm from Chicago, but I've been living here for a couple of years now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Not at all. I'm 26. And you? I'm 29. So what do you do for a living? I'm a graphic designer. It's pretty fun, but there's always something new to learn. What do you do? I work in digital marketing, always juggling numbers and strategies. Do you enjoy what you do? Absolutely. Designing lets me be creative every day. So, are you a morning person or a night owl? Definitely a night owl. I can stay up until 2 a.m. without blinking. How about you? I'm the opposite. I'm up at 6 a.m. most days. Do you like coffee or are you more of a tea person? Coffee all the way. I need my caffeine. Do you like pets? Oh, totally. I have a cat named Luna. Do you have any pets? Yes, a golden retriever named Max. He's a handful. What's your favorite kind of music? I'm into indie rock, but I listen to a bit of everything. Do you play any instruments? Guitar just for fun. Ever been to a concert? I have. Last one was an outdoor festival. What's the best trip you've ever taken? Hmm, that's tough. Probably a road trip down the West Coast. Where do you dream of going next? Japan. I want to see Tokyo and Kyoto. Do you speak any other languages? A bit of Spanish, enough to get by. What's your favorite way to relax? A good book and some tea. Do you like reading? Yes. Thrillers mostly. Have you read anything good lately? Just finished a mystery novel. So, are you a big sports fan? Huge, especially football. Do you play any sports? I like running and some yoga. Do you watch movies or shows? Both. I just finished an amazing series. Do you have a favorite movie? Probably Inception. It never gets old. Do you cook much? Only on weekends. It's a good break from the week. What's your go-to comfort food? Mac and cheese. It's like a hug in a bowl. Do you prefer city life or the countryside? City life, definitely. There's always something to do. Do you have any siblings? Yep, one older brother. Are you the oldest in your family? No, I'm the middle child. Do you like art galleries? Love them. Modern art is fascinating. Do you paint or draw? Only sketches, nothing serious. Do you have a favorite artist? Van Gogh. His colors are amazing. Do you like cooking for friends? Absolutely, when I can. What's your favorite season? Fall, it's cozy and colorful. Do you like the rain? Yes, especially with a good book. Do you have a hobby you wish you could spend more time on? Photography. I'd love to travel just to take photos. What's something you've always wanted to learn? How to surf. The ocean fascinates me. Are you more of a beach or a mountain person? Mountains for sure. There's something magical about them. Do you have a favorite holiday? Halloween. The costumes are so fun. Do you like cooking or baking better? Baking. It's my go-to on Sundays. Ever tried baking? I have. 
Let's just say I'm better at eating baked goods than making them. So I just realized, this is your first week here, right? Welcome to the team. Thanks, Jake. Yep, I just started on Monday. Still trying to learn where everything is. How long have you been working here? Almost three years now. It's crazy how time flies. How are you finding it so far? Honestly, everyone's been really welcoming, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. But I have to ask, how do you handle all the projects? It seems like a lot. Oh, it definitely can be. Prioritizing helps, though. I usually start with the toughest tasks. What about you? How do you stay organized? I love making lists. If it's written down, it'll get done. Do you work better in a team or on your own? I'd say both. But there's something satisfying about tackling projects solo. How about you? I'm a bit of a team person. I think different perspectives always add something new. Do you have a favorite project you've worked on here? Yeah, actually. Last year, I helped design a whole marketing strategy for a new client. Really challenging, but so rewarding. What's one goal you're hoping to achieve in this job? I'd love to lead a project someday. It would be amazing to manage something start to finish. What's the most challenging part of your role? Probably managing deadlines when clients change things last minute. Keeps me on my toes, though. Do you find it easy to handle pressure? Sometimes, but I'm still working on it. How do you deal with stress at work? I try to take breaks when I can. Maybe grab a coffee or chat with a colleague. Speaking of which, do you have a go-to coffee order? Latte, no sugar. Simple but effective. What's yours? Black coffee, strong. Do you have any work habits you're trying to improve? Probably overthinking things. Sometimes I just need to trust myself more. Do you have any advice for a newcomer like me? I say don't be afraid to ask questions. Everyone's been there. Do you think it's important to have a mentor at work? Absolutely. Learning from someone experienced makes all the difference. Do you have a mentor? Kind of. One of the senior managers has been a huge help. Do you think you'd like to mentor someone someday? I think so. It'd be nice to share what I've learned. Do you prefer working with new clients or familiar ones? New clients keep things fresh, but familiar ones are more predictable. What about you? Do you like change or do you prefer routine? A little of both. Routine feels safe, but change keeps things interesting. Do you set career goals? Yeah, I like to set short-term goals and then maybe a big one for the year. What's your biggest goal right now? I'd love to get more comfortable with presentations. Public speaking is still a bit scary for me. Do you enjoy giving presentations? Not at first, but after a while, I got the hang of it. Do you think confidence comes with experience? For sure! The more you do something, the less intimidating it becomes. Do you enjoy learning new skills? I do. I think that's why I like this job. There's always something new. What's a skill you're working on outside of work? Learning to play the piano. It's been on my list forever. Do you think it's important to have hobbies outside of work? Definitely. It's a good way to recharge. Have you ever thought about where you'd like to be in five years? Ideally, I'd be in a leadership role, maybe still here or somewhere similar. What about you? I'd like to stay in this field, but maybe in a senior position. What do you value most in a workplace? A positive, supportive environment. I think it makes all the difference. Do you think our team has that? Absolutely. It's one of the things that keeps me here. Do you think people should take more risks in their careers? Yes, as long as it feels right. Sometimes, a little leap is all it takes to grow. What's a career risk you've taken? Moving here for this job, actually.
you know, talking about all these changes makes me wonder, do you think people ever really find themselves or is it just a constant journey? Wow, that's a big one. I think it's a journey. We're always changing, so maybe finding yourself just means becoming okay with who you are at each stage. Do you agree? Totally. I think it's about acceptance more than anything. Speaking of which, do you believe in setting a strict life plan, or do you prefer to go with the flow? I'm more of a go with the flow person, but with a few goals to keep me grounded. Do you believe in work-life balance, or is that just a myth? I think it's possible, but it takes effort. Sometimes I feel like balance is just knowing when to say enough. Do you have any tricks for keeping that balance? I try to leave work at work and focus on my personal life once I'm home. But it's easier said than done. So, what's something you think everyone should do at least once in their life? Travel solo. You learn a lot about yourself. What about you? Agreed. I'd say trying something that scares you, like skydiving. Do you think facing fears really makes you stronger? Absolutely. It's like flexing a mental muscle. Have you ever done something that scared you but ended up being worth it? Moving here. I was so nervous, but it's turned out to be amazing. Do you believe things happen for a reason? I do to an extent. I think we make our own luck, but certain things are meant to push us forward. Would you say you're a hopeful person? I try to be. Optimism can be powerful. Have you ever had a goal that seemed impossible but you reached it? Yes. Getting this job, actually. I was sure I wouldn't get it. How about you? Finishing college. There were times I thought I wouldn't make it, but here I am. If you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Don't worry so much about other people's opinions. What about you? I'd tell myself to take more chances. Life's too short to hold back. Do you think people can really change? I do. I think people can grow and adapt, especially when they want to. Have you ever felt like you've changed a lot over the years? For sure. I'm way more confident and independent now. Do you think people need a purpose to be happy? I think having something meaningful to work towards definitely helps. What's your biggest motivator? Making a positive impact, even if it's small. Do you feel like your work aligns with your values? For the most part, yes. I like feeling that I'm contributing. What's one thing you're most proud of in your life? Staying true to myself, even when it's been tough. How about you? Same. And knowing I didn't take any shortcuts to get here. Have you ever thought about what truly makes you happy? I think it's the simple things spending time with people I care about, doing what I love. What about you? Same here. So, what's something you hope to accomplish in the next five years? Professionally, I want to grow into a leadership role. Personally, I'd love to travel more. How about you? I'd like to keep challenging myself, maybe take on a big project or learn a new skill. Are there any values you hold that you wouldn't compromise on? Integrity, definitely. I think it's essential to be genuine. How about you? Same. Being honest and true to myself. I think that's the foundation for everything else. Do you believe in setting boundaries to protect your peace? Yes. Boundaries are so important, especially with work. Do you feel like you have good boundaries? I try to, but it's a work in progress. I think we all need reminders sometimes. Absolutely. It's something I'm always working on too. Well, this has been an awesome chat. I feel like I got to know you way better. Same here. Sarah, I have a feeling you're going to do great here. Looking forward to more conversations like this. Me too, Jake.